All right, my friends, it is time for math today. Now, our math today is a little bit difficult, and that's okay because we're going to put on our thinking caps, and we are going to get through it together. So earlier this week, we talked about telling time to the hour, and I had my big analog clock. And when it is to the hour, we know that the big hand, which is the minute hand, is pointing to the 12. And the little hand, which is the hour hand, tells me what hour it is. So remember, this one tells me it is 10 o'clock. So today we're going to make it a little bit harder. And we're going to tell time to the half hour. So now we know that this is a circle. And if I go Halfway around the circle, I'm going to land at the 6 down here. So, if I go halfway around the circle, I didn't go all the way around. I went halfway around. It is now 10.30 because it's halfway here between the 10 and the 11. So, this is half past 10 o'clock or 10.30. So I want you to practice that a little bit today if you have an analog clock at home and looking for the half hour. If I turn it and turn it and turn it, I'm going to make it go around and 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 around. Now it is at the six, so I know it is halfway around and it's between the three and the four. So it hasn't gotten to four yet. This one means it is half past three o'clock. So we're going to practice that with our analog clocks. And in your packet today, there are two pages we are going to work on. There's this page and there is, oh, mine's upside down, this page. So we want to make sure you have both of those pages. For this page, you're going to need an adult's help. They are going to have to help you read some of these words. So it gives me a sentence, and I need to pick the word from the box that makes the most amount of sense to match the sentence. So the first one says, the shorthand on a blank clock. What kind of clock is this? Because it has the shorthand, right? So what kind of clock is this? That's right. It's an analog clock. So the shorthand on an analog clock counts the blank. Well, what does the shorthand tell me? Does it tell me the hours or the minutes? That's right. The shorthand tells me the hours. So see how that can be a little bit tricky because there's a lot of words to read, but I would write the word analog in my first box. Not that color, you won't be able to see it. Analog. And we know that it counts the hours. So see how I filled in my blanks there? And then, I'm going to cross off those words because I have used them. Not every word is going to be used because there are only two, four, five boxes, and there's a lot more words than five words over here. Now, down here at the bottom, you're going to look at the clock. One of them says it is the O clock because it's pointing to the 12. And the other one says it is half past blank o'clock because that minute hand is pointing down to the six. So all you have to do is write a number to tell me what time those clocks say. On this one is where you can practice your writing. And if you write outside the lines, it's okay. So on the top half of the sheet, I'm going to fold in half so you just see half and half. On the top half of the sheet, they just want you to fill in a number. All of these clocks say half past because it is pointing to the six. You need to figure out which hour it is half past. On the bottom, you need to write the words half past blank o'clock. So make sure you fill in half past blank o'clock. 
And if you have to write underneath because you write kind of fake, that's okay as long as you are practicing writing. I know it's a lot of words to write, but we are big first graders now, and we do a ton of writing in Ms. Schultz's class. We will even get a whole notebook where we start writing stories in it. I know some of you have been working hard on your stories already at home with your foundations book. If you have any questions, let me know and I can help with these worksheets or your parents. And I've also put out two videos from Moby and Annie from Brain Pop Junior that help explain time to the hour and to the half hour again. So those might help you review if you're a little bit confused listening to someone else explain it besides Ms. Schultz and your parents. Have a wonderful weekend. Hopefully it is sunny at some point and I will see you all on Monday.